So, here we are again, discussing politicians who seem to have a shaky relationship with democracy back in January 6, 2021. And guess what? They're now lining up for your votes in 2024. Talk about having a short memory. Let's start with the Northeast. Elise Stefanik from New York, sitting pretty in the number four role in the House GOP, was all in on Trump's election conspiracy theories. And Scott Perry from Pennsylvania, he was quite the handyman, trying to use the Justice Department to undo the election results. Oh, and let's not forget the Southern charm. Mike Johnson from Louisiana, now the House Speaker, tried to overturn the election by filing a Supreme Court brief. His argument that COVID voting procedures somehow made the results void. Classic case of grasping at straws, if you ask me. In the same breath, let's talk about Matt Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greene. These two toured the country with their America First circus, peddling baseless claims of a stolen election. Gates even had the gall to lead the ouster of House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. The audacity, right? Moving to the Midwest, we have Jim Jordan from Ohio and Josh Hawley from Missouri. Jordan, one of the loudest voices against Biden's win, was in direct contact with Trump during the insurrection. And Hawley, well, he was the trendsetter for contesting the election results, paving the way for others. And in the West, let's not overlook Andy Biggs from Arizona and Lauren Boebert from Colorado. Biggs, part of the group allegedly seeking pardons for their capital riot roles, denies it, of course. Boebert, on the other hand, was busy tweeting revolutionary rhetoric on the morning of the insurrection. Because that's responsible leadership, right?